So you want to take some nail clippers and clip the splinter to the right and left side where it ends. Now we're going to prep the limb for epoxy and sanding to reshape our corner. Now we're going to use our glue to get down into that splinter where it starts to lift on both sides. We're using boning fletching glue in this case. Uh, let it get down into the fibers. You can let it stick up a little bit. And when it dries, uh, we're going to go through the sanding process. We're going to take our 320 grit sandpaper and re-sand a corner back onto the limb. After we're done sanding our corner, we're going to prep it for a little bit of touch-up paint. So I got it nice and sanded down. We got a nice sharp corner. We rebuilt our beaded corner on both sides. So I'm going to reapply one of my sponsor stickers which will help cover that break in the paint so we'll set that center right there sticker reapplied and now we will reinstall our limb shock. So I wet my limb shock just to get it up there a little easier. Started on the fixed side first and then on to the opposite limb. And uh, now that I have my sticker reapplied, my limb shock back in, I'm going to let this dry for a little bit longer just to let this black paint set up a little bit more. I might feather out this edge just to give it more of an aesthetic look. Other than that, the bow is ready to shoot. So guys, that's my limb repair. Of course, if your bow is under warranty, you're going to want to get a hold of your pro shop, replace those limbs, because if it's under warranty, why not? If it's not under warranty, this is a viable fix. I've fixed a few Hoyts like this and shot them for years, never had an issue. I have had limbs replaced just because of the aesthetic look. This looks perfectly fine for me. I know the bow is solid. I know it's going to shoot just fine. It won't change any of the tuning. You have a five layer laminate limb with just a corner bead that's off. And really the only reason that we do this fix is to keep it from worsening, going further down the limb, getting into your limb pockets or your, uh, your zero tolerance points. So yeah, this bow is ready to shoot. Hope that helped. Anybody that has a limb that needs repaired, whether it be an older Hoyt or uh, a new RX-3 or even an RX-1, this is how you do it. Hope that helped. You guys have a blessed week.